Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. <clears throat> On our prayer request, pray for Sharon. She has breast cancer and lung cancer. Um, she doesn't want chemo. Uh, I, I don't know what the, they're going to try. Uh, that's about the main thing they do anymore. But I think there is other options. Pray for Ashley as she mourns great loss in her family and for the whole Sneed family. <clears throat> Vicky's brother Tony passed away. Pray for her and the family for peace and comfort. Pray for Jessica's cousin and brother's family as their mom's health is declining. Vicky and her family are heading to Chicago for her brother's funeral service and to see family there. Pray they have safe travels going and returning. All right, our scripture today comes from Proverbs 27, 8 through 12. Like a bird that flees its nest is anyone who flees from home. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart, and the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. Do not forsake your friend or a friend of your family, and do not go to your relative's house when disaster strikes you, Better a neighbor nearby than a relative far away. Be wise, my son, and bring joy to my heart. Then I can answer anyone who treats me with contempt. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keeps going and pay the penalty. Okay. All right, our devotion today is entitled, Headlong into Danger. In 1892, a resident with cholera accidentally transmitted the disease via the Elbe River to Hamburg, Germany's entire water supply. Within weeks, 10,000 citizens died. Eight years earlier, German microbiologist Robert Koch had made a discovery. Cholera was waterborne. Koch's revelation prodded officials in large European cities to invest in filtration systems to protect their water. Hamburg authorities, however, had done nothing. Citing costs and alleging dubious science, they'd ignored clear warnings while their city careened toward catastrophe. The book of Proverbs has a lot to say about those of us who see trouble yet refuse to act. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. When God helps us see danger ahead, it's common sense to take action to address the danger. We wisely change course, or we ready ourselves with appropriate precautions that he provides. But we do something. To do nothing is sheer lunacy. We can all fail to miss the warning signs, however, and careen toward disaster. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. In Scripture and in the life of Jesus, God shows us the path to follow and warns us of trouble we'll surely face. If we're foolish, we'll barrel ahead, headlong into danger. Instead, as he leads us by his grace, may we heed his wisdom and change course. When have you refused God's wisdom? How can you better learn to respond to his warnings? Dear God, Please help me to listen to you and turn away from danger. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning, and I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.